The exact methodologies lying behind different immunoassay equipment may differ from one to another. Whereas, the working principle of general immunoassay analysis is mostly the same. That is, use antigen to detect the existence of target biological substances in the blood and other bodily fluids. As specific antigens will stimulate specific and unique immune responses, the antibodies, which are produced by the corresponding immune response, can be effectively used by the automated immunoassay system to signal the presence of a target compound in the blood sample. Immunoassay analyzers comprise of an auto sampler, a washer, a reagent dispenser, and a detection system. The product varies depending on the configuration, testing options, and levels of sophistication. Assalamu alaikum and we come to MedSense, Sense Yourself. Today's topic will be primarily for the laboratory technologists and the undergraduate medical students actually. Hope you'll sense yourself by acquiring some new knowledge today. Today, we will see practically, how an immunoassay analyzer is operated. We will use patient's serum here, for analysis of a cardiac marker, troponin I. From the serum preparation to result generation. Let's go then. Serum is obtained after centrifuging the patient's venous blood in a non-EDTA tube. Here, we collected serum from three distinct patients, and in front of each, we set a sample cup that would later be placed in an analyzer machine for an immunoassay. The 300 microliters of serum from each sample should now be drawn into the sample cup in front of it. Since we have a 100 microliter micropapette in our lab, we will make 300 microliters of serum in this video by taking 100 microliters of serum three times. Notice that I always switch out the tips for each sample, just to be safe from contamination. The reaction tube for troponin I should now be placed in front of each sample cup, once the serum sample has been transferred, from the test tube, to the cup. So we brought three sample cups, and three reaction tubes of troponin I here, to test three samples. Once finished, this will now enter the immunoassay analyzer device, in this manner. This is the immunoassay analyzer from Siemens, Immunolite 1000P. reaction tube and sample cup need to be placed here. The machine will quickly take this inside for the subsequent steps. It will first pass through the washer chamber, then the reagent treatment chamber, and finally, the detection system, where the result will be generated, and displayed on the monitor provided by this machine. See, this illustrates the internal design of the entire procedure from the sample's entry to the conclusion of the outcome. 
Typically, our system needs 35 to 40 minutes to complete the troponin eye analysis. I'm done for today. We appreciate your interest and hope to see you in the upcoming video. Enjoy your day while you still can. Good day.